What's happening guys, my name is OT, and I'd like to welcome you back to the Yankees Road to Rebel episode 23 here in Shanghai for the Chinese Grand Prix, 14 laps around the circuit and now previously around China. We had uh, made a mistake going into like, the S's style where you had to go full speed, we made a mistake and we spun out, crashed our car and we was, I think, I believe we struggled until the end of the race and... I think that either that or we just kept on dropping and dropping and dropping. It was terrible. We just made the same mistake. Uh, we just made the same mistake as m many other great drivers have made in the past. Because, you know, because um, it's just one of them difficult uh, tracks to navigate sometimes. But here, lap one, going around the outside, then the inside, then up the inside of Sebastian Vettel. And now we're going up the inside of Jensen Button. And then we go a little bit wide onto the grass. We see getting grassy tyres. Now, Sebastian Vettel slips past. Now, he just cuts us up a little bit. And now, we're just going to go up the inside of Sebastian Vettel, breaking a little bit later, giving him some room if he wants to come on the undercut. Then, we lose the rear run, but we hold it together to take first position. And later, lap on, later on in lap four, Jensen Button glides past and Romain Grosjean glides past, but our tyres, you can see, are horrible on lap four. We're meant to pit on lap six, and Jules at this top point was just struggling like mad. He's, normally, he would have the, uh, the ability just to get away from these cars, but he couldn't on these tyres, so he makes a rational decision and decides it's time for me to come in the pits, and he got into the pits quite well, actually. And uh, entering through now, what sort of time is Jules going to go? And as we just see him constantly drop and drop and drop. And there's uh, Raikkonen, the new Ferrari man, if you did not know. Very interesting to see how he does there. Might make a video of that very shortly. Look forward to. And while we're talking about videos, there will be an episode of Bianchi's Road to Red Bull up until the end of this series. So every day until around 29th, 30th of September, there's a video. And it'll be coming out 20, uh, 21st behind Petrov and Kovalainen in between. And I think Hulkenberg's in there as well. Uh, there's Hulkenberg at 20 seconds of the four seniors are having an absolute horrifying time Just imagine what it would have been like if George would have joined the team and as, as they rejoin the pits We're out in second. Uh, we're out in third position right behind Roman Grosjean So look and Jules is just not giving up. He desperately wants this position. He knows he can get it He knows he can win this race now behind uh, Roman Grosjean same place He got uh, Sebastian Vettel up the inside Brakes gets a little bit wide, leaving a gap for Roman Grosjean, and he's back through on the undercut now. He set the fastest first sector as well through that, and that's a very impressive thing for Jules on lap nine. Then he just goes up the inside, squeezing him wide, but Roman sticks to it now. Roman has the inside line, and Jules just has to break a little bit and just comes up behind him now, and he's just going to take his slipstream going onto the back straight as Roman Grosjean goes a little bit wide onto the Astro turf. Now Jules getting a perfect line through that corner, using a little bit of curves to give him a boost. Roman Grosjean taking the inside line to defend. Jules then going war breaking on the outside but going wide but he's still side by side with Roman and now Roman's gonna have DRS going into the sector but I'm highly doubtful that he's gonna get him because Jules has got Kurz and has in fact pulled away from uh, Roman Grosjean and will protect his position going in to lap 10 and further on the race going later on in lap 10 Roman is right behind him as we see Jensen Martins is the fastest lap of the race. Uh, I don't think we're going to catch JB. Going around now onto this section. Going around beautifully around there. Roman Grosjean will drop behind us. So we might be safe as we have a little bit of an issue there. And we get on the inside kerb. And we have a collision with the wall. And then we have a collision with Roman Grosjean. Oh, the irony, isn't there, Roman? The irony. And then Jules has lost his front wing. And he is having some major issues skidding all over the place now. Going into this corner. And it's going to be that uh, S's area where we're going to have where we're going to have some issues because we know that's the difficult part where we lost it last time, and I've seen many people lose it through there. And now we're going around. Look at a wide line we're taking there, 120, 130, really not good. And then he breaks and he just clips Fernando Alonso, spins the Spaniard around, and he gets a penalty. And at this point, Jules says, "Enough is enough. I'm out of this race." Jules has decided to pull over. Too much damage to the car was made within that crash with Roman Grosjean and overall he has decided that this is the point that we should just give up and he retires from the Chinese Grand Prix. Look at the mayhem he's created there. No front wing, damage to the car, not really the best performance. Ninth position for Sergio Perez isn't too bad but Jules was very disappointed. Also he had a puncture so if he would have got to the pits he would have been stone dead last. But Bruno Senec on 24th, Roman Grosjean retired in 22nd, and Jules finished in 23rd. So, 
not the best race in the world, not a bad start, he was up in the good positions, he would have had second if he wouldn't have made that mistake uh, of taking a stupid line into the second corner, then trying to cut the curve, getting too much wheel spin with them tyres, and the tyres have seen seemingly been a problem at the moment with the Salva. But guys, at this point, I would just like to say thank you guys for watching, my name is OTG, I'll see you guys very shortly for some more Bianchi's Road to Red Bull very soon. Bye guys.